Which money do we spend on health care in the, in the United States in a year? According to the federal government, it's about a total of three and a half trillion dollars. You can probably not begin to wrap your brain around that figure, but yes, the number is three and a half trillion. And here's something we can all grasp. On occasion, the most effective treatment the healthcare system has to offer is something no one can put a price on. Rob Caldwell has this story. At Bridgeton Hospital, Sarah Kapanos is rarely in one place for long. Hi, Mr. Hunt. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm Sarah. Hi. I'm one of the nurses here. Do you mind if I check your vital signs? No. Go ahead, please do. She moves around, working as a nurse in just about every department. Just stay like, yeah, that's fine. We can do this first. Yep. Take, yep, perfect. The operating room, emergency room, intensive care, day surgery, oncology, the special care unit, she's worked in all of them. I thought I would find my niche, but my niche is I like everything. I like to do everything. I like to do something different every day. And in nursing, you can do that. Nursing is just part of Sarah's life. She grew up in Waterford, started playing the violin at the age of four, and as a teenager set her sights on studying in New York City at the elite Juilliard School of Music, a goal she made happen. And I left, I wanted to go to the big city and play music. I wanted to travel the world and I wanted to perform and see the world and do all the things 20 year olds want to do and take off. Her musical talent took her to South America where she played at the Presidential Palace in Peru and she performed throughout Italy. She loved music, but decided that with all the travel and the uncertain income, it wasn't the career for her. I was taking my children to a doctor's appointment in Lewiston one day, and I happened to see CMMC School of Nursing. I said, you know what, now's the time I'm gonna become a nurse. All right, John. Although life at home is hectic, I she has six children ages three to 19. Sarah Kapanos stands out at work. She devised a set of guidelines with the acronym PRIDE, a checklist to help nurses treating patients after surgery. I need acronyms in my busy life to remember things, including lists at the grocery store. So I thought coming up with acronyms of daily nursing tasks is good. To her surprise, other hospitals started adopting her checklist, which she has now expanded to cover procedures before surgery. And I was like, kind of taking it back. I was like, what are you doing? with my thing, <laughs> no. As if her nursing innovations weren't enough, Sarah agreed to perform at a hospital holiday party, which sparked an idea. Maybe she could play for some patients. They came to me and just said, would you like to go see the violin concert? I said, sure, I ain't doing nothing. A few patients were brought to a small room in the hospital. Now, Sarah already has a pretty impressive reputation around here. She's been great. I mean, I, I think of her as my angel. But this, this was out of the ordinary. A superbly trained classical violinist playing for people who lately haven't had much joy in their lives. What did you think of this performance? I was blessed. I was really touched. It was truly amazing. I'm going to take what I've gotten here and bring it back to my oncology unit. Tell them they got to step it up. No one has ever checked into a hospital for the quality entertainment, but Sarah may have changed that. Every time I come, I'm going to expect her to play for me. <laughs> Hospitals today provide technology and treatments that are enormously sophisticated. Sometimes, though, the best medicine is a moment of grace. Amazing. It really is totally amazing. So I'm truly blessed by what she did today. Thank you. Mm. We're all tearing up. No, it gets here me. A I, bit. Yeah. That is such a beautiful story. Yeah. yeah.
Now the violin that Sarah Kapanos uses was actually made by her great, great, great grandfather. Here's also a cool fact. We mentioned she has six children. Her daughter Lily has inherited some of her mother's musical drive and talent. By 17, Lily had performed at the Sydney Opera House in Australia and performed three times at Carnegie Hall in New York City. So she has quite a future ahead of her. Mm. Really great stuff they're doing. What a family and six children. I still I can't really wrap my head around that. And she goes to work every day and does that beautiful job. Right. So yeah. amazing. Good on her. Coming up.